Hey, I'm Tim from Strand of Oaks, and I'm at Amoeba Records in San Francisco, and they let me buy records today. I ain't talking about money. I don't want to talk about love. I ain't thinking I'm not the same as I was. I bought a bunch. I think I went a little crazy. I'm kind of an ADHD dude, so I uh, did a few cartwheels and then uh, scared some people maybe just because I pushed them over to find my records. First, I got Peter Gabriel. It has San Jacinto on it, which has the single greatest synth tone I've ever heard in my entire life at the, like, the last chorus. It's kind of like heaven is opening up and and delivering a lightning bolt of joy down. And then I got Marissa Nadler. I see some familiar faces. 2014 has been like the year of wonderful, ethereal women singers for me. Angel Olsen, Sharon Van Etten. Marissa's, in Adler's July is like, it takes the cake. There's a song in here, Drive, that just, and Dead City Emily. Oh, such a good record. These guys blew up this year, but this is my favorite record by Future Islands in the Evening Air. It has this vibe to it that's so subtle. It's I'm, I think it was on my way down to South by Southwest in 2010, and I was doing an, a nice combination of Budweiser and motion sickness pills. And then if you mix those two together and you put on this record, it's a perfect combination of just like vibe. Pure vibe. Ugh, this is such a good record. This is my hero. This is my guidepost for everything I do in my life. Nick Cave. Sitting and singing the heads balsam blue. This is his newest one. And uh, he talks about Miley Cyrus floating in a swimming pool. Miley Cyrus floats in a swimming pool. To look and only Nick Cave could do that, where it sounds creepy and amazing at the same time. And that's his wife on the cover too, so I don't think my wife would be down to do that. But way to go, Nick. And then my tattoo artist in Richmond, uh, Josh Stevens, he does all my tattoos. And he played this record in its entirety when we did this latest tattoo. And I'd never heard of it, it's Deaf Heaven. <laughs> It's like post-rock, hardcore, blissed out awesomeness, and the drummer's really amazing in it, so I'm glad you, glad you had that. Oh, this is, these are such similar covers. This is Youth Lagoon, this is their last one. And I love the first one they put out, it was like super bedroom rock, like uh, pretty DIY made, but this one like took it up to like a level of production, like it's hazy, woozy, pitch, like it's, <clears throat> I, I don't do a lot of drugs, but my mind always wants to do drugs. And if I was to do a large amount of drugs, it would be to this record, especially the song Mute. It's fantastic. I think this guy's only like 21, so I hate him because he's so talented. So good job, Youth Lagoon. This is my favorite. It's just Joanna Newsom. I'm just looking at these songs. Clam, crab, cockle, cowrie. So I thank the Lord, ooh, and I thank his sword. Though it be mincing up the morning, slightly bored. This record is really, really hard to find in stores, so thank you, Amoeba, for having it, because I've been looking for this for so long. I have all of her other ones, but this is, this is the last record I don't have. I remember when I first heard this and, like, the whole freak folk thing happened, it was... It was like listening to the future and the past. And then, since I'm from Philly, Philly rules to make music in. Waking on a pretty day. Don't know why I ever go away. I don't know this guy. He's pretty cool. My drummer drums with him all the time. But some some dude just totally spray painted over all this. It's right in the neighborhood. It's like, this is like Front Street in Philadelphia. Oh, wow. And some rando dude came and just white painted all over on this whole mural. So. There was just about a uh, revolution that happened after he did that. But that's the Steve Powers mural. 
My wife really likes this record. I need to do some nice things for my wife, because I always say, like, I'll see you in three months, I'm gonna go on tour. She can listen to this record when I'm, when I'm home and on Saturday morning with my cats, and I can make French press coffee. Yeah, this dude's cool. Listen to that, and I listen to Dope Smoker by Sleep probably once a week. And then I get in a really cool mood after I do it, because I feel like I'm in a spaceship. Kind of like your daily meditation. Yeah, exactly. I, I hike to Dope Smoker all the time. Okay. So it's fantastic. It's like hour and a half. It's a really solid, like, fast hike. Get some exercise in. Go to deep places in your mind. Do you remember what the first record you picked up was? Or uh, some of your first, early music? The first tape I ever got was a, um, I think it's in Rolling Stone's Top 100. It's Weird Al Yankovic, Dare to be Stupid. I got on tape. I saw the little wren sitting there on a log. I asked him his name and in a raspy voice he said Yoda. I think Yoda was on there. But I got it on tape with a fluorescent tape player that had Velcro on it with my matching fluorescent watch. Then uh, the first record that truly moved me was the single of We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Touched me deeply as an eight-year-old. <laughs> and then what was the first, the first CD I ever got? I think it was the same day I got the Wayne's World soundtrack and Aerosmith Get a Grip. But my brother got Appetite for Destruction, so that was the one we listened to the most. <laughs> That's a classic. Wayne's World kind of passed into uh, the bottom of the pile, but Guns N' Roses stayed at the top for most of it. Just the guitar tone on that record. Uh, uh, it's perfect. Awesome, Tim. Well, thanks for coming in Thanks today. for letting me shop for records here. It's awesome. Awesome, guys. Slash doesn't need a tuner. <laughs> he would hate it. I would never want to see a Slash with a tuner. It'd be horrible. I don't want to see him look down and like, just a second, guys, like right before he goes into like, sweet child mind. I just gotta bing, 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 bing. No thanks. Amoeba.